A very good morning, children. Today, we'll be continuing with our chapter, Data Handling in Max. So in our last class, we learned what is data. So what is data? Data means information. And data collection means to collect the information in order to keep a record. So this is what we learned in our last class. Today, we are going to learn about data representation. So how the data can be represented. Data can be represented by words, symbols, pictures or graphs. So let's learn it with some examples. Here you can see in one column there is favorite season and in other column you can see the number of students. So this is the favorite season of students. So the seasons summer, winter, spring and autumn are given. So the favorite season summer the number of students like is three the next one winter the number of students is five the next season spring the number of students is 10 and the autumn the favorite season of the number of students is two so this is represented in numbers now here you can see the same data is represented using pictures here smileys are used so let's see here the same thing, favorite season is given, summer, winter, spring and autumn. Here on the right side you can see the number of students, instead of numbers, here pictures are given. So look at this picture, here summer you can see three smileys, that is three students like summer season. So here you can see summer season, three students like and this is represented using pictures here, so three smileys for summer season that means the number of students who like summer is three the next season winter is liked by one two three four five so five students like winter season and what about spring spring the students likes us one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so ten students like spring season and autumn season is liked by two. So this is data representation using pictures. Now here you can see another example. Jim owns a fruit shop. He draws a pictograph to show the number of each type of fruit sold on Saturday. So Jim has a fruit shop and he draws a pictograph. That is the data is represented using pictures. Uh, to show the number of each type of fruit sold on Saturday. So here you can see the fruits sold on Saturday. They are apple, melon, pear, pineapple, orange. And the number of fruits sold are given using stars. Here at the end, the bottom of this page, you can see each star represents 10 fruits. That means one star represents 10 fruits. So here you can see apple was sold, three stars are given. That means one star is 10. So 10, 20, 30. So 30 apples were sold on Saturday. The next one, melon, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So how many melons were sold? It's 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The next pair, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 into 10 is 40. So 40 pairs were sold on Saturday. And the next is pineapple. You can see 3 stars. So 10 into 3 means 30. So 30 pineapples were sold. And the last one orange, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 stars, that means 40 oranges were sold on Saturday. So here instead of numbers, the stars are used to represent to show how much fruits were sold. Next example, the following table shows the number of candles sold by different shops. Study it and complete the given statements. So you can see in the left side shop is given and in the right side number of candles sold is given. So it is shop A, shop B, shop C, shop D and shop E. So shop A sold 
50 candles. Shop B sold 60 candles. Shop C sold 70 candles. Shop D sold 40 candles. And Shop E sold 100 candles. Now some questions are given. We have to answer it. So look at the first question. Which shop sold 50 candles? By looking at this picture, we have to find out which shop sold 50 candles. So it is shop A which sold 50 candles. So we can write here it is A. Now second one, what is the total number of candles sold by shop A and B? So shop A sold 50 candles and shop B sold 60 candles. So what is the total number of candles sold by shop A and shop B? For finding out, we have to add 50 plus 60. So 0 plus 0 is 0 and 5 plus 6 is 11. So the total is 110. So you can write here 110. The third question, which shop sold the maximum number of candles? So look here, which shop sold the maximum number of candles? Shop E sold maximum number that is 100 candles. So here we can write which shop sold the maximum number of candles? It is shop E. Now you can open your textbook. Page number 183. So you can see an exercise there. Given below is Remya's collection of pictures of animals. So you can see pictures of animals given. The next is color the circles to represent the number of each animal in Remya's collection. So you can see in this picture dog, cat and rabbit given. So first we will count how many dogs are there in Remya's collection. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what you have to do, you have to color the circles to represent the number of each animal in Remya's collection. So you have to color six circles here. The next we have to find out the number of cats. So how many cats are here? One, two, three, four. So what you have to do? You have to color four circles. The next we have to find out the number of rabbits. So how many rabbits are there? One. 2, 3. So you have to color 3 circles here. Below that you can see the same data can also be represented as follows. So animal is given and number of animals is given. So what all animals are given? Dog, cat, rabbit and under it you can see the number of animals. There are 6 dogs, 4 cats and 3 rabbits. Moving on to our next page 184 we have the practice coach. So let's see the question. Neha went to a zoo and saw some rare animals and birds which are getting extinct due to global warming. Look at the animals or birds she saw and write the data in the table. So you can see here some animals are given. So Neha went to the zoo and she saw some animals. So what all animals are here? You can see tiger, fox, squirrel, sparrow, orangutan, deer. So what we have to do? We have to write down the number of animals here. Here you can see the names of animals or birds are given. That is tiger, penguin, orangutan, sparrow, squirrel, fox and deer. Now we have to find out the number and write it below each one. So first let's find out the number of tiger. So how many tigers are there in this picture? One, two, three, four. So you can write under tiger four. Similarly find out the number of other animals and birds and write down here in the space provided. Let's move on to our next question. You can see the body weights of 14 students of a class are given below. So the body weights of 14 students are given here. You can see here 22 kilo, 29, 33, 21, 18, 14, 10, 26, 36, 28, 12, 15, 17 and 35 kilos are given here. Now let's move on to a question. Color the pictures to show the number of students having body weight below 25 kilos. So what we have to do? We have to color the picture. We have to find out the number of students 
who are below 25 kilo. So look here, we'll find out how many students are there below 25 kilo. So 22, 21, 18, 14, 10, 12, 15, 17. So these are under 25 kilos. So how many of them are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 children are there who are below 25 kilos. So you have to color 8 students here. The next one, color the pictures to show the number of students having body weight in between 25 kilo and 30 kilo. So we have to find out the number of students who are below 25 and 30. So 29 comes between 25 and 30. The next is 33. So we need not take it. Then you can find 26 kilo, 28 kilo. So there are 3, 29, 26 and 28. So the number of students having body weight in between 25 and 30 kilo is 3. So you can color 3 pictures here. Similarly, the next one, color the pictures to show the number of students having body weight above 30 kilo. Here you can find out the number of students who are above 30 kilo and you can color here. Let's move on to our next question. The third question. Rehan made a list of shirts of different colors. So here you can see a table which shows left side shirt color and in the right side you can see the number of shirts. So which all color shirts are there? Black shirt, gray shirt, green shirt and blue shirt. Now let's see the number of shirts. You can see there are 18 black shirts, 32 gray shirts, 45 green shirts, 26 blue shirts. Now we have some questions, let's do that. Based on the above data, fill in the following blanks. A. Gray shirts are lesser in number than dash shirts. So look here, gray shirt is 32. So what is the question? Gray shirts are lesser in number than green shirts. So here, we, because here you can see green number of green shirts is 45. So it's lesser, gray shirt is lesser than green shirt. So we can write here green. Question B, blue shirts are more in number than dash shirts. See, blue shirt is 26. We have to find out blue shirts are more in number than dash shirts. So, black shirts, blue shirts are more than black shirts. Black shirts are 18, blue shirts are 26. So, blue shirts are more in number than black shirts. So, we'll write here black. Third one, see shirts of which color are the least in number. So look at the table again, which is the least one. So black shirt 18, gray shirt 32, green shirt 45, blue shirt 26. So which is least in number? It is black shirt. So again we can write here shirts of which color are the least in number? It is black. Question D. Shirts of which color are the most in number? So it is green shirt. It's having 45. So we'll write here green. Let's move on to our next page. We have Max Lab activity. Objective to collect and represent our data. Materials required chart paper, color strips, glue and marker. Method, teacher makes groups of students. Each group is given strips of different colors which represent different ice cream flavors as given below. So you can see here, mango, strawberry, blackcurrant and butterscotch flavors of ice cream are given. Students write their names on the strips of their favorite flavors. Now, on a chart paper, the teacher draws a table and writes flavors on it as shown below. 
Students stick name strips for their favorite colors. Now the teacher has drawn a table. You can see the flavors here. Mango, butterscotch, strawberry and blackcurrant. And the students have written their favorite ice creams. Their names on the favorite ice creams. Now we have some questions. Look at the first one. A. Count and write which flavor is liked by most of the students. So mango is liked by two Butterscotch is liked by one student, that is Rita. Strawberry liked by two students. Blackcurrant liked by three students. So what is our question? Count and write which flavor is liked by most of the students. That is blackcurrant. So you can write there blackcurrant. Now the second one B. Count and write which flavor is liked by the least number of students. So you can see butterscotch is liked by only one student. So which is the least number of flavor liked by the students? It is butterscotch. So you can write it over there, butterscotch. See how many students like black currant flavor. So look here, how many students? It is three. So you can write there three. Question D. So which Two flavors, if any, are equally liked by students. So you can see mango is liked by two students, butterscotch, one student, strawberry, two students, blackcurrant, three students. So which two flavors are equally liked? It is mango and strawberry. So you can write down there mango and strawberry. So with this, we finish today's topic. We'll be meeting in the next class. Till then, Thank you.